Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that solve the following system of equations by using determinants. And the first equation is given as x plus y plus z is equal to 6. The second equation is x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 14. And the third equation is x plus 4y plus 7z is equal to 30. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is, whenever we have to solve a system of three simultaneous linear equations involving three unknowns, then in the first step, we will find the determinant D, where the determinant D is really the determinant of the coefficients, then after this, we can have two cases, that is, either the determinant D is not equal to 0, or the determinant D is equal to 0. Now, when D is not equal to 0, that is, the determinant D is not equal to 0, then the given system of equations is consistent and has a unique solution, namely, x which is equal to the determinant dx over d, y which is equal to the determinant dy over d, and z which is equal to the determinant dz over the determinant d. Where the determinant dx is obtained by replacing the coefficients of x by the constant terms in the determinant d, and the determinant dy is obtained by replacing the coefficients of y by the constant terms and similarly the determinant dz is obtained by replacing the coefficients of z by the constant terms. And this result is also called the Kramer's rule. Now, the second case is when the determinant d is equal to 0, then further we have two cases, that is, if d is equal to 0 and the determinants dx, dy and dz are equal to 0, then the given system will be consistent with infinitely many solutions or inconsistent having no solution. And if the determinant d is equal to 0 and at least one of the determinants dx, dy and dz is not 0, then the given system of equations is inconsistent having no solution. And also you should know that the Kramer's rule does not apply if d is equal to 0. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. And now we will start with the solution. Now in the question, the following system of equations is given to us. So given x plus y plus z is equal to 6, x plus 2y plus 3z is equal to 14, x plus 4y plus 7z is equal to 30. Now let this be equation number 1, this be equation number 2, and this be equation number 3. Now we know that the determinant d is really the determinant of the coefficients, so here the determinant d will be equal to the determinant with the elements in the first row as 1, 1 and 1. That is the coefficients of x, y and z respectively in the equation number 1 and the elements in the second row as 1, 2 and 3. That is the coefficients of x, y and z respectively in equation number 2 and the elements in the third row as 1, 4 and 7, that is, the coefficients of x, y, and z respectively in equation number 3. Further, this will be equal to 
1 into 14 minus 12 the whole, minus 1 into 7 minus 3 the whole, plus 1 into 4 minus 2 the whole, which is equal to 2 minus 4 plus 2, which is equal to 0. Now we will find the determinant dx which is obtained by replacing the coefficients of x with the constant terms in the determinant d. So the determinant dx will be equal to the determinant with the elements in the first row as 6, 1 and 1. Elements in the second row as 14, 2 and 3. And elements in the third row as 30, 4 and 7. Now solving this will be equal to 6 into 14 minus 12 the whole. Minus 1 into 98 minus 90 the whole. Plus 1 into 56 minus 60 the whole. Which is equal to 12 minus 8 minus 4. Which is equal to 0. Now for obtaining the determinant dy. We will replace the coefficients of y. By the constant terms in the determinant d. So the determinant dy will be equal to the determinant with the elements in the first row as 1, 6 and 1. Elements in the second row as 1, 14 and 3. Elements in the third row as 1, 30 and 7. Now further, this will be equal to 1 into 98 minus 90 the whole. Minus 6 into 7 minus 3 the whole. Plus 1 into 30 minus 14 the whole is equal to 8 minus 24 plus 16 which is equal to 0. Now the determinant dz will be obtained by replacing the coefficients of z by the constant terms in the determinant d. So the determinant dz will be equal to the determinant with the elements in the first row as 1, 1 and 6. Elements in the second row as 1, 2 and 14. And elements in the third row as 1, 4 and 30. Further, this is equal to 1 into 60 minus 56 the whole minus 1 into 30 minus 14 the whole plus 6 into 4 minus 2 the whole. Which is equal to 4 minus 16 plus 12 which is equal to 0. Now here the determinant d is equal to 0. The determinant dx is equal to 0. Determinant dy is equal to 0. And determinant dz is also 0. So by using this result which is given in the key idea. If the determinant d is equal to 0 and the determinants dx, dy and dz are equal to 0, then the given system of linear equations is consistent with infinitely many solutions or inconsistent with no solution. Therefore, the system has either infinitely many solutions or no solution. Now, putting x is equal to k in equation number 1 and 2, we get now this is the equation number 1 and this is the equation number 2. Therefore, putting x is equal to k, where k is any real number, in equation number 1 and 2, we get y plus z is equal to 6 minus k, and 2y plus 3z is equal to 14 minus k. Now, this represents a system of two equations in two variables y and 
is right. So here the determinant D will be equal to the determinant with the elements in the first row as 1, 1. That is the coefficients of y and z respectively in this equation. And the elements in the second row as 2 and 3. That is the coefficients of y and z respectively in this equation. Further, this will be equal to 3 minus 2, which is equal to 1. So here, the determinant D is not equal to 0, which means the premise rule is applicable for finding the solution of these two equations. Now let us find the determinant dy, which will be obtained by replacing the coefficient so far with the constant terms in the determinant D. So this is equal to the determinant with the elements in the first row as 6 minus k, 1, and elements in the second row as 14 minus k, and 3. Further, this is equal to 3 into 6 minus k, the whole, minus 1 into 14 minus k, the whole, which is equal to 18 minus 3k minus 14 plus k which is equal to 4 minus 2k. Now let us find the determinant dz which will be equal to now replacing the coefficients of z by the constant terms in the determinant d. So the determinant dz will be equal to the determinant with the elements in the first row as 1, 6 minus k, and elements in the second row as 2, and 14 minus k. Now solving this will be equal to 14 minus k minus 12 plus 2k, which is equal to 2 plus k. Now we can find out y and z by using this result which is given in the key idea. Now the determinant d is equal to 1. The determinant dy is equal to 4 minus 2k. And the determinant dz is equal to 2 plus k. So y is equal to the determinant dy upon d. This is equal to 4 minus 2k all upon 1 which is equal to 4 minus 2k. And z is equal to the determinant dz over d, which is equal to 2 plus k. Now we have y is equal to 4 minus 2k, z is equal to 2 plus k, and x is equal to k. Now this is the equation number 3. Now putting the values of x, y and z in equation number 3 we get k plus 4 into 4 minus 2k the whole plus 7 into 2 plus k the whole is equal to 30 which implies k plus 16 minus 8k plus 14 plus 7k is equal to 30 which implies 30 is equal to 30. So this means these values of x, y and z in terms of k satisfies the third equation that is the equation number 3. Therefore the solution is x is equal to k, y is equal to 4 minus 2k and z is equal to k plus 2 where k is any real number And these are 
infinitely many solutions. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.